Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, together with We Can Game. In the last episode, we had to go upstream to face the first boss of Crash Bandicoot, Papu Papu. And without further ado, let us do this. Now, compared to Spyro, these bosses actually are quite challenging. Now, it's important to note, if you don't have Aku Aku with you, you will be given him in his orange form. It's also important to note you can dodge his simple attacks like this by standing on his chair but he will eventually hit again. So that's just a little tactic I like to do. He'll swing around three times, then he'll go for crash wherever he is, jump on his head. You can also jump on his head when he is spinning, but this is the tactic I always have used, so... Oh! Yeah, lost Aku Aku! Oh, and we've died. Uh, that's what I get for rust risking it, but as you see, we spawn in again. What? That's a little broken. It was able to actually hit me on the... <laughs> I didn't even know you could take flame damage from that. That's... that's funny. That, uh, I, I love how I'm learning new things about Crash Bandicoot just because I'm doing terribly. But with that, easily taking him out. Papu Papu being the obese tribe leader of Insanity Island. That was very fast. Learned a couple of things. Did not know you could actually take flame damage from his torches. But in the next episode, we will be heading to the level Rolling Stone. I know this episode is kind of short, but that's just the nature of the game. But I'm very curious to what you have to say. What do you think of Papu Papu as a boss? What do you think of the idea that you can use and interact with the things in his background, such as his chair? I'm very curious to what you have to say in the comments below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, thank you so much for your time, and as always, I hope you have a great day. Bye.